Are we seeing a new era of boxing in the UK? I went to the Paragon Gym in Shoreditch to speak to Stuart Lawson, the co-founder, on his views on the future of boxing in the country. Do you feel that we're seeing a new era of um, boxing in the UK? I think we've, we've got a lot of young talent coming through now. There's, there's some good boxers out there. I also believe that there's, there's other art forms out there that the young people are aspiring to. Um, you know, you've got the UFC, which is taking a big market as well. There's, there's low kick kickboxing. So there's quite a few other disciplines that people can move into. But uh, as for boxing, it's certainly still at the top of the tree as the sport that you want to do. Um, and yeah, there's, there's, there's some very good fighters. I mean, I, I grew up with boxing and kickboxing um, 20 years ago. And we had the likes of Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, Prince Nazim Hamed, Nigel Benn, Chris Eubank. We had, we had a, a serious array of amazing fighters and great British fighters as well. Um, and th things have, I've just seen them sort of diminish slightly in the last few years. I mean, there's some good people coming through as well. There's some young people coming through. Whether or not boxing has the same pickup that it used to, I'm not sure. I think it's still very big, but I think they're having to publicise a little bit harder now because they do have competition coming from coming strongly from other areas. And you know, people's people's like for for the carnage of sports is changing. You know, I mean, at the moment we've got the the, the new pedigrees, which is the UFC, which encompasses all martial arts and all boxing trades. You know, where are we going to be in 15 or 20 years? It might escalate and it might develop into something else. It might evolve into something else. So, um, well, I've been doing martial arts for 25 years with uh, both my brothers, Jonathan Lawson and Alex Lawson. Alex Lawson being my twin brother. We started many, many moons ago. I mean, I'm 44 now, moving on to 45 soon, and I started at 17. So, um, we started in an, an incredible gym in King's Cross called Magendo. And it had a plethora of international fighters, male and female, and it was a uh, it was the pinnacle of, of 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 boxing and well of kickboxing, should I say, in Great Britain. They were winning trophies everywhere, and we worked with them. For, we we studied with them as students, and then we worked for them as as instructors. And then we realised that we had slightly different ideas. K1 was coming in, full contact kickboxing was coming in, which was a little bit different to the system that they held. So we came to shortage. Um, and Shoreditch was very different 20 years ago. I mean, really different. It was a, it was a little bit of a dive but compared to you know, the, the surrounding areas where you had uh, Islington that was up and coming and you had obviously the city, Liverpool Street, which was a five minute walk away. So we came here and we churned out five or six years of really hard work, picked up a lot of clients. And then from there, you know, Shoreditch started to become a little bit trendier. So we started to get quite a lot of the artists coming in. So now, I mean, the, the gym boasts people from all walks of life, from all parts of the planet. I mean, quite, quite a lot of people come from sort of like uh, Western Europe as well, which is interesting. There's a, a good mix of uh, Italians, Greeks, Spanish and French people that, that come and train here as well. Um, and it's a 50% male-female ratio. So th th this is what drives us to get up in the morning and come in and, and, and teach, uh, teach our sessions. I've been competing for, I'm retired now, four years, but I've been competing, I was competing for 20 years. So initially I started off in some light continuous tournaments, which it's the, the, the word light continuous means that you're not going out to knock people out. So it's all about speed, point-based uh, systems and uh, beating someone with skill. That wasn't always the case. We had some serious battles back in the day and we had some really, really good titanic moments where there was some of the best fighters from all around the country would meet at the Nationals and we would just go at it over a, a tournament-based day where you'd have maybe four or five fights sometimes. So I, I learned throughout a, you know, a, a tough, tough set of experiences I had to learn through these tournaments 
And then I went from light continuous after about five years of training into full contact fighting as well. And that was above the waist kickboxing. And that, that, was, that was really difficult. There was this sort of stigma surrounding full contact initially where I was a little bit afraid of doing it. And then I got into the full contact wing after quite a few light continuous fights. And it was, I, I was, I adapted very quickly. And the opponents actually half the time weren't as good as the guys that we were fighting at the top of the, the tree of the light continuous branch as such. So it was a, a 20 year career about 120 light continuous fights and I think last time I recall it was about 90 full contact fights, 18 wins and one draw. So I did really well within, within both spectrums and I climbed the top of the tree within, um, within both spectrums and it was, a, it was a pleasure while it lasted, it was one of the chapters of my life. <laughs> What do you think the uh, the future of boxing is in the UK? It, it's it's a twofold answer. I mean, I think the amateur scene is really coming through, and we're bringing girls through as well. Since the Olympics, that's become a really big thing. So there's some incredible women coming through in the boxing ranks, and that in itself is going to bring in more young people into it, and specifically girls as well. So it's really going to encompass both men and women. I think boxing in the future. Uh, as for the professional ranks, I mean, only recently someone just died in the boxing ring. People are even talking about banning it, which I doubt it's going to happen anyway. But uh, yeah, it, it, I think boxing will certainly continue. But, you know, it, as I feel, you know, I think obviously there's other art forms coming through, as I mentioned before, with, with the UFC and things like this. So I think, you know, it, it's, it's thinning out. You know, there's, there's only so many fighters that a country can create. And there's, you know, some of them may want to go into fencing. Some of them may want to go into something else. So it really depends. But I think boxing still holds strong, you know, and it is a pugilistic art and it's, there is an honor with it as well. And I think there's, there's a lot of people that still look up to these things, these big fight nights on Saturday night. And, you know, the young people are, you know, growing up and they want to do that still. So I think that there's, there's still a bit of, there's still a bit of work left uh, with, with, with boxing to go. Really enjoyed speaking to Stuart there. It's clear that the future of British boxing is going to be very exciting.